Hello, how are you guys doing? We're doing something different today. Doing something very different today. Today, this video may not even go up on After Hours. Uh, I'll be honest, Rev, getting people into wargaming is going to be a stretch. Some people I have seen uh, have had interest in just knowing what even is happening in the lore of Darktide. I figured, you know what? Why don't we make... Uh, what? I know about Warhammer. I know way more about Warhammer than um, I should. Uh, Limes has continued to update me on the fact that people come into her chat and write out paragraphs of text that just she doesn't care to read because uh, why would you? Um, it <laughs> uh, so... This video is not for people like Limes. This is videos for people who uh, played Dark Tide and like, man, there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. I wish I knew more about it. Um, so that that's what I was thinking about as a thing that we could do for that. Uh, I should probably get the uh, um, the Moobot thing fixed. Give me one sec to do that. Um, so first off, I think that we should probably make the video somewhere between three to four minutes long because that's about what people's attention span is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my workspace. Um, see, do we have a display capture? That's the whole screen. Does not look like it. Let's make that. All right. There we are. So this is what, uh, Sony Vegas... 14 looks like once it gives you the advertisement to get the newer version which does the same thing but costs more money now and i think has a subscription in it i'm not actually sure on that part um so i i guess that's where we'll probably start all right so let's go ahead and mark out the four minute mark uh and try and keep it shorter than four minutes Ooh. It has been a minute since I used the editing software, so I don't actually know how to get all the way over there. Um, it doesn't have to be four minutes, but if we can make it long, that'd be good. Oh, why don't you want to work with me here? Uh, can we go past three minutes? Could we, in fact, go past... Okay, you know what? We can just... Uh, Ooh, you just don't want to work with me, do you? That's, that's super interesting of you. Okay. We'll go ahead and put a mark down there, and then I'm just going to drag it on. Oh, no. Apparently we're not. Why, why is that? I don't remember how to use this tool. Okay. So maybe it needs, like, content on it to actually, like, do things. Um... I'm pretty sure those are ours. I see. Fair enough. Uh, need the milk. Thank you for the seven months of support. Caught uh, two shiny dragon airs after grinding all night. Congrats. All right. Well, let's start with the uh, the easy to do stuff. We'll go and we'll add the intro and the outro things. And then we'll go ahead and make it so that way they are both with the disabled resample. And that'll just make it better for uh, everything. Uh, we plonk that one at the end. We push this one all the way towards like, let's call it three minutes 30. That sounds like a long enough video. Uh, and then right here, we can just be like, thanks for watching and stuff. Uh, music. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. Um, so we got the start of the video. and We got the end of the video. Now we just got to do everything else in between. Um so in order to do that let's let's try and figure out for the people who uh don't know anything about dark tide let's let's try and figure out what they actually care about so i'm gonna go ahead and make up a a google doc thing and uh we can try and answer some of those questions as they come uh google drive <sighs> you know what we could easily just do it with a text pad let's just do that Okay, text pad. Okay, so. Uh, all 
All right, so, um, let's, okay, so we got intro, outro, perfect. Uh, so this will be like, thanks for watching, that kind of thing. Uh, link to other Warhammer stuff. Um, plot of Dark Tide. Uh, kill team, I think, should be brought up, as well as Necromunda. Um, so, uh, Kill Team's a, uh, a smaller version of 40k that's like patrols of people. Um, and then we got Necromunda, which is kind of a similar thing, but with gangs that are in the Hab cities. Um, why do they worship the dude? Uh, because he was the only one stopping the forces of chaos from taking over, uh, the universe. And also because, uh, they got led astray. Um, funny fact about the emperor of the mankind is he was a massive atheist. Like he super duper was against religion. He, he in fact went around and made sure he burned down every single church on earth and every other church they ended up running into. Um, just because uh, he punished uh, Logar, one of his uh, sons, for worshiping him. And the writings that Logar wrote about worshiping the emperor went on to... Uh, he said specifically, do not worship me, I am not a god, and then burned down Logar's uh, home planet as revenge. Um... And from there, those books that Logar wrote uh, ended up being the, the core of the, uh, the Imperial uh, Creed, the, the, the thing. So, in other words, the guy who actually s helped start the heresy is also the guy who helped found the church that's against it. Somehow. Because he founded that church and then he was immediately kicked out uh, for doing so. And he was like, fine, I'll go find some real gods if you're not God. And then he found some. And it went really bad for everyone who wasn't chaos worshipping. Uh, so plot of Dark Tide. I think we need to go over plot of 40k... And I think we just need to be like Horus Heresy, kind of just like vaguely mention the Horus Heresy. We don't really have to go into it too, too deep because um, that's the 31st millennium. Um, is the point of this video because you hate Dark Tide? No, I actually like Dark Tide. But a lot of people really, really like uh, Dark Tide and they're curious about Warhammer now. So I figured I'd go ahead and, you know, make that. Yeah, when, when the immortal guy with psychic powers tells you he's not God. Like, and Logar kind of brought it up at the time. He was like, hey, uh, you kind of look like a God. You kind of act like a God. And you have the control of the entire human race. You seem like a God. Um... Why is the Emperor a skeleton right now? So, during the Horus Heresy... Uh, okay, so we're going to get into that. That happened. Uh, now in 40k. And then... Uh, Wahapedia, because I don't expect to ever be sponsored by GW. Um, as well as uh, 40k proper. And then I think this will cover most things. And I don't even need to really get into the plot of Dark Tide necessarily. Uh, chaos, yeah, the forces of chaos are not super unified. Um, so, okay. So why don't we just uh, 
cut that out and just do the plot of 40k the horse heresy and now what's going on in 40k uh from here and then talk about the different uh games that are available uh as well as uh so if you like the the game you can actually get some of the models that are featured in the in um whatchamacallit uh dark tide as models so this is the beast of nurgle this is sort of like the tank event that happens in the game you can get him he's okay he's actually not that great right now uh he's definitely not as uh durable and i kind of like what they did with the model at dark tide more than the original model here and uh, uh yeah i mean he's got the same sort of premise where it's just like a gross slug thing uh, then we got your pox walkers. You see these guys pretty often in the game. Uh, I think that when you're doing the, uh, missions where you're trying to take out the, uh, the, the infestation of stuff, you get this. Uh, I think this is what's doing the infection. Uh, if you want to play as a zealot, then I think Battle Sisters are probably your vibe. Uh, we got the Cadians, we got Ogrins, we got Bulgrins, we got the Lehman Russes that are referenced, we got the Battle Sisters, that was my old video. Um, I think we need to probably, oh, and then all of the random, like, terrain is also in... Like, you, you'll just see this shit when you're walking around because they straight up used, like, the models as references uh, for areas in the game. Okay, so. Now I've got this. I move this to the side. Uh, you should mention if Warhammer has any twinks. Um, is this a twink? White hair is pretty twinky. Can I see him without the armor? Probably not. Um, yeah, no. Uh, he's been through some shit. I don't think we can find any uh, m pictures of Fulgrim. That's a beautiful painting. Holy shit. Yeah, he got corrupted by Slanesh. Uh, this is his ancient as shit model. Um, there's not a current version of his model. Um, but if we compare this to... Uh, uh, to... Uh, where's the old model for... Yeah. Okay, so this is the old model for Mertarian, for example. This is the old model for Fulgrim. Fulgrim hasn't gotten a new model yet, uh, but Mortarian did. And it's fucking sick as shit. So, uh, yeah. When, uh, when Fulgrim actually gets a model, it should be pretty good. I don't think that Mortarian is a twink. Uh, he's he's massive. Do not make me want to get models. I can't afford it. Well, we need to probably bring up tabletop sim as well. Um, all right, all right. So um, let's definitely do that. Where's okay.
Sure. Okay. So let me let me try recording a very short explanation of the Horus Heresy. Uh, to be clear, the Horus Heresy series of novels, uh, uh, book order. There we go. Just how many books are in the uh, Horus Heresy? Uh, there's a few. I'm going to try and summarize all this shit. Um, but this is everything that happened in the uh, 31st millennium uh, prior to the events of uh, Warhammer 40k. These are all like about like two inches thick, by the way. Um, how does knowing anything about the horse heresy make you want to try the tabletop? Um, okay, let, let me try and do an explanation of what's going on with that. And then we can talk about lore books that you should get into if you like the idea of the lore but you know want to maybe just experience it for less there's a lot of good uh content creators on youtube that make that kind of stuff let me start off by just explaining the short version of the horse heresy so let's see um in the 31st millennium some of the emperor's sons, known as the Primarchs, the leaders of the legions that defended humanity from the aliens as they expanded out into the universe, decided to turn traitor against the god king himself. This is before he was recognized as a god, and uh, it's not good. Okay, let's try that again. In the 31st millennium, some of the sons of the Emperor, the genetically created super soldiers known as the Primarchs, decided to turn traitor against the Emperor of the Man... Blah, 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 blah. This, is, this is a lot of recording things. In the 31st millennium, some... Let's not say some, let's say half, because that's about right. In the 31st millennium, half of the people... Nope. In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by Chaos Gods. Okay. How is that? Does that make sense? Play it again? Sure. In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by Chaos Gods. Okay. Does that sound right? That's lore accurate, though very simplified. Again, we've got like 20, 30 books that I just like kind of hand waved with that sense. <laughs> but uh, that's the general premise of what's going on there. Do I have any podcasting experience? Not really, no. Um, I just got here. It's also very quiet for you guys. Yeah, I'm sure it is because it's uh, set to a different level. Okay, let me hear. I'll had very good reasons and some of them were just corrupted by chaos gods. All right, this is not going to be a everything you need to know video about Warhammer. This is going to be just like the briefest is overviews that someone who does not want to. Uh... A lot of the proper nouns are kind of. Yeah, I guess. All right. I don't think that we need to go into three of the Chaos Gods because they're not, like, here in this game. So I think we only need to talk about the one that is represented in Dark Tide, and that's Nurgle. So we can start there. One of the four Chaos Gods is known as Nurgle, The Chaos Gods are kind of big, but if you're just trying to convert what you know from Dark Tide to, uh, like, looking into 40k at all, they, like, I'm just trying to give the briefest of overviews. 
you know? So, like, talking about what, like, uh, Zinch or, uh, is Dark Tide worth a full price? I don't know how stable it is for everyone. Um... And because of that, I can't really recommend it. Do you have a good enough computer that you think you can run it? I would say, like, if you do buy it, keep in mind the two-hour window to uh, return it. Um, trying to make a Warhammer YouTube video without being a massive racist. All you have to do is not simp for the God King. Turns out that when you don't see that the... Uh, aggressive fascism that the uh the the god king uh puts out as not a good thing when you when you see the bullshit the emperor is doing as a bad thing it's actually very easy to not simp for him but a lot of people are like yeah the emperor is doing a great job it's like yo what One of the four chaos gods is known as Nurgle. Thoughts on the far side enclaves? We're super not going into that. You think do you think the average person who's playing Dark Tide knows what any of those other things are? Like, they have no concept of orcs, Eldar, any of that shit, you know? The thing is that the Emperor of Mankind probably knew that his sons were going to turn traitor, by the way, and just decided not to do anything to prevent that because it had happened before with the Thunder Warriors and he was just like, eh. I love Vashtor, or however you pronounce his name. He's good. Did the orcs make the evil blood god? No, they made two separate gods that are lesser gods that we don't talk about as often, named Gork and Mork. The Emperor is kind of a dumbass at the end of the day. Um, Korn doesn't like the way that orcs do war. Doesn't have the, uh, the, 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 I don't know, martial prowess. It's just more raw, brutal strength. Um, Korn is, you know, blood for the blood god. Skulls for the Skull Throne, but also, like, you know, um, martial mastery, you know? One of the four Chaos Gods is known as Nurgle. It's not so much as, uh, finessed as much as, uh... It's it's not just like running in there and swinging necessarily. Well, it's different. It's different. The way that orcs do war is different. Let me just put it that way. Um, one of okay, so one of the 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 chaos gods is known as Nurgle. Um, Nurgle. He's the primary antagonist in Dark Tide. He and his followers. He and his followers are the primary antagonists of Dark Tide. Okay. Let's let's listen to this video so far. In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by Chaos Gods. One of the four Chaos Gods is known as Nurgle. He and his followers are the primary antagonist of Dark Tide. Okay, so far, pretty straightforward. I think that all makes sense. Uh, I do think I'm gonna shift everything over some. Uh, and I'm probably gonna start with like a... Um, some sort of intro y kind of thing. So let's let's try that. Oh, why are you all the way over there? Don't go over there. Come on come come over here. Start start your recording here. I don't know if this will work or not. 
Would you bet that the other gods come to Darktide? I think Gene Stealer cults and orcs are probably more likely, but regardless. Um, and there are minor other gods they're just not talking about as much. Like the, uh, was it the Laughing God? And then um, you got Kane, I think is one. I don't know any of that Eldar shit. A flash kit would be great if you could play as a flash kit. Are Gene Stealers and Tyranids the same thing? Yes. It's sort of like saying are Corvettes and cars the same thing? Uh, Ty Tyranids are, you know, the, 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 the overall group, whereas Gene Stealers are a type of Tyranid, technically. Uh, gene stealers are sort of like, uh, here, I can show you. Ba -ba -ba. This website is so fucking laggy. <laughs> Jesus fuck. All right, gene stealer cult. So, um, what happens it, with gene stealers, we were not going to put this in the video because I just, um, is that one of these guys comes down and starts infecting a, uh, a human civilization with basically just like mates with enough people alien style that, uh, we start getting like weird hybrid clones of human and Tyranid that uh, all worship the Tyranids as a god uh, and try and like overthrow, you know, maybe a uh, a hive city or something and replace it with, you know, uh, Tyranids, making sure that they, they sort of like get the, the word out before uh get get everything together ready for the tyranids when they actually come in and then uh once they do you get proper tyranids which uh look like whoop, this you know we got the the newer model of the whatever this thing is called the parasite of mortrex bunch of other scary gribbly things but i think you could very easily have gene stealer cult as an enemy in dark tide without it being a huge deal i think that would work um tyranids are doing very good right now in 40k Thank you for the 100 bits uh, official pig wrestler uh sorry i fell asleep before your stream saturday had a weird dream that you talked shit about gushing grannies before saying how excited you were to play all the twink cowboy games one after another o almost right um in that i'm going to be playing one maybe with uh mike warhammer figures are incredibly detailed but they make you pay pay the premium for it um like they they, they are expensive as shit uh which is why i i don't buy them often um okay so so where were we in our oh right i was gonna so you've been playing some dark tide and you think hey i'd like to get into some warhammer maybe just the lore maybe the games maybe just see what it's all about this video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible there's a lot more to uncover here obviously but uh this is a early quick explanation of everything that's going on in dark tide and how it relates to the major games that exist cool right I think that's that's a fine intro paragraph or sentence. Um, we're gonna just cut that and we're gonna put that at the beginning right here. Not enough room for the paces selection. Okay. Sure probably recorded this bit first. Was that without a script? Yes. Uh, I, I generally don't script too, too hard when I make videos like this, uh, just because 
yeah um i'm dyslexic so reading off a script is generally not worth it i'm morally more or less just try and have bullet points that i go off of um and it the the flow sounds a little bit more on point as long as i can kind of explain what i'm trying to get after i think that's fine most people don't uh seem to mind it and the fact that people haven't noticed that yet i think uh you can't really zoom out much in this program unfortunately um all right let's save a, a quick copy of this all right uh save project as yep yep um or dark tide to warhammer we'll come up with a better name um okay so uh let's go over our bullet points again so we got the intro we got the uh let's go ahead and put stars next to things so we got the intro we got the plot of 40k uh horse heresy we haven't really talked about what's happening in 40k proper right now so let's let's do that so let, let's see where that last sentence ended off antagonist of dark tide gods is known as nurgle he and his followers are the primary antagonist of dark tide okay The war against humanity as a whole has continued since the 31st millennium on to present day, the 41st millennium, where humanity is now worshiping the God King as a God and is trying to repel the forces of chaos and all the aliens in existence. Yeah. Doesn't have a value statement on whether or not they're good. I... <laughs> Well, the Tao try and make you friends by brainwashing you. That's the closest you can get. As a god, and is trying to repel the forces of chaos and all the aliens in existence. There's a zoom button in the top right. Oh. Oh, wow. That's neat. I'm glad I did this editing video uh okay so save project okay and is trying to repel the forces of chaos and all the aliens in existence dark tide has done a really good job at converting all the different miniatures that are available on games workshop's website to models in the game we're gonna cut out this weird fucking pause while i try to think of words right to models in the game Still kind of awkward, but it's fine. There are parts of the Imperium that aren't horrible, but it's rare. Sure. Darktide has done a really good job at converting all the different miniatures that are available on Games Workshop's website to models in the game. Everything from the terrain to enemies in the game, as well as models uh, representing the different people that you can be. Nope. Okay. Very close to the right sentence. Um, everything from the terrain, the levels, as well as the enemies you fight and the characters you can be already exist as models in the games. Cool. All right. So do you think, okay, that explained the horse heresy and 40k ish. <laughs> We're not going very deep. There's so much that I'm leaving out and I feel weird about it, but, um, you can be already exist as models in the games
Okay, so... For reference, if you're somehow lucky enough to be in this universe and born onto a pleasure world, your life was one long orgy. Up until, um... Slanesh comes and finds out about you. So, could could be bad. Could be real bad. I mean, if... Having really weird sex and taking a whole shit ton of drugs sounds good to you, um, then it's probably fine. When, when I when I say weird sex, I mean like, um, hold up. There's one specific picture that I'm thinking of when I think weird slanesh sex. Uh, not cute. Uh, lick. You know the one I'm thinking of where this, the, the guy is getting his face licked off by a, a demon? No, I can't find it. But uh, Slanesh has this sort of like, sort of weird um, crab slash gender fluid neutral sexual thing going on. Like, not, none of the... Like, this is a greater demon of Slanesh. Uh, and it's got, like, one titty and one not titty. Um, could, could, could be good. Similar thing here. You got the uh, Slaneshy demons. Where some of them are... They're, they're all kind of wearing, like, corsets and, like, crab hands. You could, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, as opposed to like Nurgle doing whatever this is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Should probably not actually click on to, uh, Slanesh and then scroll through the image option. There we go. This is the one I'm thinking of. So when I say weird sex, I mean this. Because this guy's coming in this image. Like he's absolutely having a fucking great time. But he is getting his skin licked off by a demon. So, uh, it's... Is it a good thing or a bad thing that this is happening? If you're into it, then uh, Slanesh is the demon for you. CBT demons. Yeah, basically. Okay. Characters you can be already exist as models in the games. Would Slanesh be into ball destruction? Slanesh is into the perfect everything. The perfect sex, the perfect scream, the perfect death. Um, so, yeah. But Slanesh would be very into, like, if you're a follower of Slanesh, you're not just going to be into, like, CBT. You're going to be into, like, perfecting CBT. Like, do it just right so it has the right amount of pleasure and agony at the same time. They're not so much, like, math nerds as they are just, like, they're, they're gonna get it just right. Oh, Sigvald. Yes, I should show them Sigvald. I'm not a huge guy into, uh... Sigmar, but I think Sigvald is a really good example of a slash. Uh, is it spelled Sigvald? Yeah, there he is. 
Prince of Slanesh. Uh, so, so this is the guy who I don't know his backstory, but uh, he's a, a prince of Slanesh. So he he fell to Slanesh one way or another, and now uh, he's got like hot man whore energy. He's also got like assless chaps on. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I never noticed that. Yeah, he's got like assless chaps on. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, all right, so where were we? Everything from the terrain, the levels, as well as the enemies you fight and the characters you can be already exist as models in the games. Speaking of the games, there's four major ones that you should be aware of. The Horus Heresy, which takes place, obviously, in the 31st millennium as the traitor legions fight against the loyalist forces to try and bring down the emperor. Um, I felt like I said the last of that kind of weird. And bring down the emperor. Uh, Kill team, which is probably the closest that you'll get to what we're currently playing in Dark Tide, where it's small teams of guys trying to fight off another small team of guys trying to do basic tiny missions and survive it. My new gender is Prince Le Prince Assless Chaps. I have no idea what his backstory is, but there you go. Like, again, he's a Sigmar guy, so. If he's following Slanesh, you know, it makes sense that he's got assless chaps on. Let me just say that. Trying to fight off another small team of guys trying to do basic tiny missions and survive it. Then there's Necromunda, which is gang wars taking place in the lower parts of the Hive Cities. All of Dark Tide takes place in Hive Cities, so, you know, basically industrial zones where people live being uh, fought over by petty gangs over small resources and drugs. I don't know a damn thing about the new Kill Team, I'll be real with you. Um, I've heard it's good. Sigval's gender is whiny teenager who fell to Slanesh rather than being considered anything but perfect. I mean, yeah, that sounds right. Sigvald is only 16? He's been 16 for a few thousand years, though. Oh, yeah, he probably got, like, stuck at that age. He's looking like pretty fucking stacked for a 16 year old. He's got like Jojo energy where it's like, yeah, no, I'm like 80 years old. Like I'm a 40 year old man, but actually I'm only 16, you know? He's basically a Jojo. Live being uh, fought over by petty gangs over small resources and drugs. Lastly, there's the main game called Warhammer 40k, which takes place in the 41st millennium with large-scale battles and wars. I'm going to be mostly talking about that because that's what I'm mostly comfortable with. In order to get started with any of these games, you'll need to pick up the core rulebook, as well as the codex for whichever faction you happen to be playing, as well as all of the miniatures for that faction. Starting with a combat patrol is a good way to start. Alternatively, you can go to Wahapedia, which is a free website that illegally uploads all of the information you need to know how to play this game. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Whoops. Uh, Warhammer 40k. Uh, okay, so here's the core rule book. 70 bucks. Uh, then let's say you want to play uh, Nurgle Demons. So uh, Daemon's uh, Codex. So you'll need this Codex, which is 55. And then uh, you'll, you'll want to start uh, collecting Nurgle. Does that not exist anymore? It may not. They may have gotten rid of it. Uh, we got Slanesh. Maybe they got rid of the Nurgle one. But, you know, 95 to to $130, <laughs> depending. Or you could just not. Uh, which is, is going to be the next sentence. If you're inter yeah. If you're interested in starting any of these games, the place to go would probably be your local games workshop store if you have one. They generally are available to play a test game so you can kind of just see how it plays. Alternatively, you can go and get tabletop sim off of uh Steam. Let's let's try that again. Sim off of oh. <coughs> of steam a tabletop sim off of steam no okay tabletop. you can go you can go and get tabletop sim off of steam for about twenty dollars and be able to play all of the games with uh none of the rules included but hmm, no alternatively you can go and get Tabletop Sim on Steam for about 20 bucks. It's a fairly heavy program and doesn't work quite well, but it allows you to play any of these games for the small asking price of about 20 bucks. It's usually on sale. Uh, and then I can show a uh, video of, you know, stuff. Uh, so we're almost at the three minute mark and we haven't talked about like where to find more lore stuff. And I'm trying to make it about three to four minutes long because any longer than that is going to be way too long. You know, just go to the Warhammer wiki. What what channel used to do that? Uh, trying to remember, there was a lore channel that would just like read directly from the, the wiki and just not learn how to pronounce any other words. Does anyone know who I'm talking about? They did the segment uh, for the greater WOG. And I haven't seen them post in forever. I guess that, uh, well, we can, uh, we could probably edit this down some. There's dozens of channels that do that. Okay. If you're interested in playing as the veteran, I would suggest Astra Militarum. If you like the idea of playing as the zealot, then I would recommend Sisters of Battle. All of the factions are good, and I would also rec- No, okay. There's a battle. If you want to play as the bad guys, the Nurgle guys, you can either go with the Death Guard, or you can go with- Okay. If you want to play as the bad guys, you can either go with generic Chaos Space Marines, Nurgle Demons through the Codex- Demons book, or you can go with Death Guard, a faction of Chaos Space Marines that explicitly worships Nurgle. I know someone's going to complain that I called, but like... <laughs> Word bearers don't explicitly worship Nurgle. They worship the whole pantheon. So they are more generic in that respect. 
some people are going to complain about this video because it doesn't go into enough depth. Uh, like I graze the surface of, of the Horus heresy. It's 40 fucking books or whatever. You think Perturbio has a gamer chair. He definitely has one of those, uh, like magnifying glass things. Those goggles you can get for your face. So you can see the little tiny things. So when he works on his minis, um, he definitely has that. Explicitly worships Nurgle. Okay. Yeah, the, the kind that make you look like bubbles. Exactly. All right. As far as lore and books that you could go and read, I highly recommend the Eisenhorn series. That's good. Um... That's like a detective one. What was the detective one that I found? Uh, Warhammer uh, horror book. There's an explicit one that was like Warhammer horror, I think. Was it Warhammer um, detective series? Warhammer Crime was the, the subsection it was under. Okay. Uh, what was that one called? Wraithbone Phoenix? No. Bloodlines. Okay. So, so maybe we go over what happened here. As far as lore and books that you could go and read, I highly recommend the Eisenhorn series. They take place around an Inquisitor trying to root out heresy, similar to what's going on in the stories that, uh... They take place around an Inquisitor who is trying to root out the forces of chaos in Hive cities, similar to what happens in Darktide. Similar to what happens in Darktide. If you want a different book that has a similar sort of flair, I highly recommend the book Bloodlines by Chris Rott. It's a detective story that involves a missing uh, person case that gets really out of control. It's really good. Okay, that, that last bit we could probably cut. Uh, Jane Inferno, thank you for uh, 39 months of support. That's very cool of you. Thank you so much. That, that actually is a very good story. Um, if you want a different book that has a similar sort of flair, I highly recommend the book Bloodlines by Chris Rott. It's a detective story that involves a missing uh, person case that... I feel like you could probably read that book without knowing anything about Warhammer, and it'd still be good. Gaunt's Ghost. I don't like Ravener. And Cyphus Kane. Okay, yeah. Cyphus Kane and Gaunt's Ghost, I think, could be good recommendations. Um... Will you link to all the materials you reference in this video? Yes. If I don't, then it's useless. Also, we're going to add images, obviously. I'm just getting all the uh, uh, the audio done first. I'm just going to make sure that this all makes sense to y'all, especially if you guys don't do Warhammer stuff. And if there's any questions that you would like answered as someone who plays Dark Tide or have watched Dark Tide and they're like, what the fuck is happening? If you want to learn more about what's happening in the Astra Militarum, that is the Imperial Guard, the people that the veterans are like, I highly recommend not only the Cyphus Kane series, if you want something a little bit more jokey, or if you want something more serious, you could go with the Gaunt's Ghost series. Yeah, Ravener, I think, is like discount Eisenhorn. Hot take. Did I read? Yeah, I've read all the Eisenhorn books. I liked them. They're good. Um, sort of like James Bond-esque, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, listen, my, my, what I'm expecting of it is pretty bad. Like, 
Scissor Battle have a nice audio drama that's called Our Martyred Lady. I'm trying to think if I've heard that one or not. I think I have. Um, <sighs> okay. Our Martyred Lady book. I didn't spell it right, so. Um, did I read this one? I think I s did read this one because it's got great facts in it, right? Great facts, Celestine, and some custodes, dude. Yeah, fuck the custodes guy. Yeah, I remember that one. Um, for like, I highly recommend not only the Cyphus Kane series if you want something a little bit more jokey, or if you want something more serious, you could go with the Gaunt's Ghost series. Uh, what's a good Nurgle book that we could go with? Uh, Nurgle book, book 40k. Realms of Chaos. Uh, the Nurgle books are usually kind of just like whatever, in my opinion. Um, Blight Grenades. What, what, are, what are people even using as like Lords of Silence, Plague War, Buried Dagger. That's horse heresy, though. That's not good this that's, that's 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 too deep uh what's a good recommendation for a nurgle book i think there was a siphon no it wasn't siphus kane it was um it was eisenhorn that had a, a short bit about nurgle right and also yeah i'm not bringing up like uh was it aeronautica and titanicus as mainline games because they're not uh the mortarian book isn't out yet there's plenty of like very short uh ones that i think are probably better i i don't i can't think of a good nurgle book to recommend um because i'm not like actually into any of the ones that google best nurgle books according to 40k lore uh lord of silence age of sigmars okay Barry dagger soul drinker um yeah i think i think that maybe we just like uh ignore that I, I i don't like nurgle as much as a god like he's a great villain for this series because it is just hordes of like unthinking corrupted humans like that's fine that works great especially because like they're zombies like you get the idea you get the idea fairly well right want something more serious you could go with the gaunt's ghost series you can get all these books through games workshops online library system called nope um and get all these books through games workshops black library series you can also probably pick them up in pretty much any shop that sells books alternatively you can find a lot of them online and there's a lot of really good creators on youtube here that actually do a lot of their own narrative work i'm going to recommend a few here uh and then instead of saying that i think i actually just recommend some so vox in the void i think is good um i'm tempted to not recommend um I'm tempted to not recommend a Border Prince because he said some weird shit in the past that like I'm not like a super fan of. And I have a feeling that like he's eventually going to say something that he shouldn't. Uh, but he has done some really good readings. Uh, Astartes would probably be worth recommending. Um, here that actually do a lot of their own narrative work.
Vox and the Void does incredible work, as does the Astarte series. In fact, the Astarte series was so successful that Games Workshop went ahead and just hired them on to do their Warhammer Plus Netflix knockoff. Which is true. Um, yeah, they, that was like right around when they were like banning all Warhammer content on YouTube. And then they, they decided against doing that. There's also plenty of good channels on YouTube that do battle reports. A battle report is basically just people playing Warhammer and then talking out the rules, their decisions, and that sort of thing. I'd highly recommend the following channels. Okay, and then we just... I don't need to say I highly recommend. Like, if I'm recommending it, I'm recommending it, you know? Yeah, their subscription service is not worth it, in my opinion. Um, subscribe for a whole year and get a cool figure. There, I, I forgot who did it. I think it was Auspex Tactics that was talking about, uh, that if you sell the mini that you get, then you could just, like, make money. I... Okay, so the reason I wouldn't want to recommend Tabletop Sim and Wahapedia is because uh, I do want to support the company some. I just feel like their prices are a little outrageous right now. Like, prohibitively outrageous, especially in this economy. Um, that's why I'm learning blue stuff and trying to how to figure out cloning of models. Because it's just like, I can't... I can't... I mean, I can, but I'd feel fucking awful spending that amount of money on stuff. Hey, sweetheart! Wife and chat. I'm doing a, a short video explaining Warhammer to people that learned about it through Dark Tide. How's work? We have good channels on YouTube that do battle reports. A battle report is basically just people playing Warhammer and then talking out the rules, their decisions, and that sort of thing. Tabletop Tactics does videos where it is a pre recorded stream. Uh, no. Tabletop Tactics is one of the original ones that are still doing it, that film uh, different games that they play against each other, and they have really good production value. Super busy at work today. I'm excited to see you when you get home. That's not to be confused with Tabletop Titans, a stream that... Uh, no. They are not to be confused with Tabletop Titans, a different YouTube channel that does live streams of them playing 40k live, where you can sort of have a conversation with them while they're playing. I don't want to even mention Mini Wargaming, because I think that they suck, honestly. Like, they... Okay, no one in chat, aside from the true Warhammer nerds, are going to get what I'm about to say, but when the Codex Space Rain book dropped... They put, they put the Black Rune of Damnation on, on Cultus, like a, a 10 block of Cultus. And it's like, why? Why would you ever do that? Some channels hand wave all the rules and then joke about the game rules being bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, again, Mini Wargaming does that. Uh, they don't bother to learn the rules. Like, people correct them in the comments and they just don't learn it. Uh, Auspex Tactics is probably not a good start for people who are getting into Warhammer. Um, what was the one that I found the other day through... Um, Fabricator's Forge is probably the same sort of thing. Six plus Steve, Steve oh, I, I like well enough. Uh, Grimdark Narrator is okay. I don't think he's ever been racist. <laughs> I don't new, use uh, Night Mode for anything. We'll use some funny edits to get people's attention going throughout this. Um, but yeah. 
I, I actively choose not to use dark mode. Uh, I don't like it. It gives, it gives me more eye strain. Or it is basically just people playing Warhammer and then talking out the rules, their decisions, and that sort of thing. Okay, so... The Grimdark narrator's voice is a little bit difficult to get behind sometimes, but, like, he's good with the, the lore. He kind of just reads out from the, the wikis, uh, but that's fine. Luton sucks, dude. Holy shit. Luton is such a massive racist. Um, I'm not going to be recommending him. Like... Aw, you're beautiful. Plus Netflix knockoff. I also recommend the Grim Dark Narrator. He pretty much just reads from the Warhammer Wikipedia articles, but he gets the things right, and he can, you know, actually talk about the stuff fairly well. It's good for listening to while you're painting. I can name more bad ones. Yeah, what was um, what was the guy who had to change his name to not have Warhammer in it? Because Arch Warhammer, that guy, that guy, like GW explicitly says, do not give him any more like deals because he's such a fucking prick. Um, yeah, fuck that guy. Every fandom has them. Um. How did we find out that Luton is racist? I might be wrong. I might be thinking Arch Warhammer with him, but I'm not sure. Um, I apologize to Luton if that's not accurate, but I I'm fairly certain I'm right on that. I think he also did that thing. Yeah, I mean, like... <sighs> The Warhammer universe isn't supposed to be nice, so that there's no good guy is really something you need to like get hammered in your head very early. Uh, Got to be careful. Let, let's go ahead and look that up. Windows says no. It's people who uh, sent for the emperor uh, scare me a bit. <laughs> uh, let's. I feel like maybe it was just maybe his older videos where he used like the R word quite a bit. Um. Let's bust out a Luton video real quick. Imperium has now been established for 10 million. It seems pretty spurious. It seems to tick the boxes from an okay, I guess that's possible point of view, but it just doesn't make sense beyond that. Another theory is that the Emperor was in fact one of the old ones, who you will remember were one of the most ancient super beings. Yeah, we're not getting into that. Why did I think that this guy was an asshole? There's some reason I remember like disliking this guy and I don't remember why. Who's the good one? I like the the grim dark narrator. I think he does a good job. Um I mean like it's just straight up like uh reading off the 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 wiki but some people need that, you know? Uh, I appreciated it. Vox in the Void, I really like. Uh, almost Pro Gaming has stopped doing stuff. Art of War, I feel like, is a little dense for someone to start off with. Bell Lost Souls will get me, like, absolutely, like, 
murderized, but they're they're local to Austin, so I'm like tempted to mention them, but like no. I think I've run into a few of them. Um Oh god, do we go into like painting and shit? I don't think so. This is not that video. Uh What was the name of that one really good channel? Uh let's see. Kirioth, uh, he's fine. Uh, play on tabletop does an okay job. Um, tactical tortoise does an okay job. Um, Vanguard Tactics, I think, is fine. Just looking at people I've subscribed to. Wyvern Audio? Oh, yes. Wyvern Audio did a really good job with stuff. And this guy's voice is just fucking perfect. Dude, listen, listen to this guy. This guy does such a good job. YouTube House Audio presents Warhammer 40k. Massacre, written by Aaron Dembski Bowden, and narrated by War Wyvern. What a good voice for this, man. What a fucking good voice for this. Um, listening to while you're painting. I'd also like to recommend Wyvern Audio on YouTube. He reads mostly the official books and has an amazing voice that's perfect for just getting into the lore. Aww, I love your voice too, sweetheart. I miss you a lot today. Amazing voice that's perfect for just getting into the lore. Okay, this, this video is now like six minutes long. Holy shit, okay. It sounds like well he's he's over pronouncing the beginning stuff. He doesn't really try and uh he's making sure you hear everything correctly in the beginning, but when he actually gets into it it's taken from the bodies of fallen foes. Almost fifty officers were present. Shipmasters, centurions, champions, all accompanied by their oath bound honor guards and personal attendants bringing the total close to 200 warriors. I like Voldemort's voice. I don't know him. Um, I mean, this guy also only has like 11K subscribers, and I feel like it's it should be more than that. Yeah. Do you have any idea what time you'll be coming home? Oh, okay. Well, I got that stream with Mike tonight, but Vox and the Voice really good creators on YouTube here that actually do a lot of their own narrative work. That's Vox and the Void. I also like to recommend Wyvern Audio. Okay, that's Wyvern. What is this one? The Grim Dark Narrator. Okay. YouTube channel that does live streams. Of okay, so it's this one. From this one to the next one. And then I'll probably spend a bit of time recommending a specific story from both of those guys. I mean, this video is like a couple minutes of explaining the lore and then mostly recommendations where to find additional information. So let's go ahead and save it again and just see what it sounds like. See if I fucked anything up. Okay. Perfect for just get Nope. Nope.
So you've been playing some Dark Tide, and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover here, obviously, but uh, this is a early, quick explanation of everything that's going on in Dark Tide and how it relates to the major games that exist. Okay. The so I think that's fine. If I stay late, I'll be like 30 minutes late. Okay. I miss you. We had a really good weekend, but it was like a four-day weekend, but I, I did streaming stuff for the charity. Um, are there people that like the God Emperor, like people like the Empire in Star Wars? Yes. Yes. And it's weird. Baltimore. Why do I feel like I've heard his name? Okay. Yeah, he used to have a different uh, logo where it was just like a guy that's grinning, grinning. Yeah, I worked half of the, the weekend, so I didn't get to see my wife as much as I would have liked. Um, so it was more like a two-day weekend that was broken up real weird. Uh, Baltimore is probably okay. I don't... I haven't listened to enough of his stuff to remember. He's a narrator for some of Markiplier's podcasts. Why do I feel like I've heard something bad from... See, there's so many, like... A fear that would sap them. Thus, 40 of us were born. The I am the 99... It will not be an error. That but if I do not act swiftly, he... I think... After another was possessed by these demons. He... Tarkonus... The... His voice, man. Uh, I don't, I don't care for it. He's trying to do like a very like overpronounced like British voice. Genetically created super soldiers. Okay. Arctide and how it relates to the major games that exist. In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by chaos gods. Okay. So far, so good. Arctide and gods. One of the four chaos gods is known as Nurgle. And there's a weird break there that we can just delete the, the spacing on. Same with here. It sounds like that in some of Markiplier's work as well. Okay. One of the four chaos gods is known as Nurgle. He and his followers are the primary antagonist of Dark Tide. The war against humanity as a whole has continued since the 31st millennium on to present day, the 41st millennium, where humanity is now worshipping the god king as a god and is trying to repel the forces of chaos and all the aliens in existence. Okay. Darktide has done a really good job at converting all... models in the game everything from the terrain the levels as well as the enemies you fight and the characters you can be already exist as models in the games okay
games. Speaking of the games, there's four major ones that you should be aware of. The Horus Heresy, which takes place, obviously, in the 31st millennium as the Traitor Legions fight against the Loyalist forces to try and bring down the Emperor. Okay. Kill Team, which is probably the closest that you'll get to what we're currently playing in Darktide, where it's small teams of guys trying to fight off another small team of guys trying to do basic tiny missions and survive it. Okay. Then there's Necromunda, which is gang wars taking place in the lower parts of the Hive Cities. All of Dark Tide takes place in Hive Cities, so, you know, basically industrial zones where people live being uh, fought over by petty gangs over small resources and drugs. Necromunda being one of the planets. I mean, yeah, that's basically how the, the Chaos Gods work, is it's just like, you know, when you have something like the warp, the idea is... I feel like maybe you should, by mentioning games, you should mean tabletop, unless I'm wrong. You're not wrong. Um, okay, I love you, sweetheart. I hope you come home at a normal time, in the very least. Have a good rest of your day. I love you. The warp is just a soup of every thought and feeling it exists. Yeah, and sometimes it clumps together enough. There's enough of one vibe going out there that everyone kind of has... Uh, everyone collects that into one mega entity that becomes a god. So you have, you know, not wanting to die and, you know, like being alive and depression and despair all kind of coalescing into Nurgle as a, a, a god and then he he does that so the nurgle demons are just like the physical embodiment of life death despair and depression <laughs> and drugs Lastly, there's the main game called Warhammer 40k, which takes place in the 41st millennium with large-scale battles and wars. I'm going to be mostly talking about that because that's what I'm mostly comfortable with. And drug. In order to get started with any of these games, you'll need to pick up the core rulebook, as well as the codex for whichever faction you happen to be playing, as well as all of the miniatures for that faction. Starting with a combat patrol is a good way to start. Alternatively, you can go to Wahapedia, which is a free website that illegally uploads all of the information you need to know how to play this game. And it does, yeah. Um, again, that's probably going to get the video taken down, but, you know, it's true. If you're interested in starting any of these games, the place to go would probably be your local Games Workshop store if you have one. They generally are available to play a test game so you can kind of just see how it plays. Alternatively, <laughs> recommend crime again. You can go and get Tabletop Sim on Steam for about 20 bucks. It's a fairly heavy program and doesn't work quite well, but it allows you to play any of these games for the small asking price of about 20 bucks. It's usually on sale. If you're interested in playing as the veteran, I would suggest Astra Militarum. If you like the idea of playing as the zealot, then I would recommend Sisters of Battle. So you've been. No, no, no. Okay. I completely lost where we were. Okay, I was right about here. If you like the idea of playing as the Zealot, then I would recommend Sisters of Battle. If you want to play as the bad guys, you can either go with Generic Chaos Space Marines, Nurgle Demons through the Codex Demons book. Okay, that's an awkward pause. Let's get rid of that. Through the Codex Demons. Probably just taking a breath there, but I don't like it. I don't like breathing. Should never breathe. There's a battle. If you want to play as the bad guys, you can either go with generic Chaos Space Marines, Nurgle Demons through the Codex Demons book, or you can go with Death Guard, a faction of Chaos Space Marines that explicitly worships Nurgle. 
Uh, Tank Facts, thank you for the 27 months of support. Holy crap. Aw, well, thank you, Tank Facts. Uh, I mean, I don't think that there's a reason to bring up Zinch in general, so there's no point for me to bring up Thousand Suns. As far as lore and books that you could go and read, I highly recommend the Eisenhorn series. They take place around an... Whoa, what happened there? They take... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what happened there? They take place... They take place around an Inquisitor who is trying to root out the forces of chaos in Hive City, similar to what happens in Dark Tide. Take place around. Place around. They take place. I'm not re-recording the whole line just for two words or whatever that I fucked up. See if it flows well. It's not our room to paste the selection. There you go. All right. They take place. Okay. Get rid of that gap. They take place. They are not to be confused with Tabletop <laughs> Titans, a different YouTube channel. What that the does fuck? Live nope, nope, nope. Here. Place around in a place. They take place around an inquisitor who is trying Boom. to root out the forces of chaos. Clean as shit. Just remember the intonation of how you're speaking, and then you don't have to re-record lines. I highly recommend the Eisenhorn series. They take place around an Inquisitor who is trying to root out the forces of chaos in Hive City, similar to what happens in Dark Tide. There's also a lot of websites where you can bootleg the audio, just so you know. If you want a different book that has a similar sort of flair, I highly recommend the book Bloodlines by Chris Rott. It's a detective story that that, that pause is fine. It's a detective story that involves a missing person case that gets really out of control. It's really good. Okay. Um, it's really good. Okay, we can get rid of that because, like, I, I'm recommending it. Of course, I think it's good. Um, if I thought it was bad, it would be weird for me to be like, yeah, read this thing. It sucks. <laughs> so you've been playing... No... series if you want something a little bit more jokey or if you want something more serious you could go with the Gaunt's Ghost series okay and get all of these books through Games Workshop's Black Library series you can also probably pick them up in pretty much any shop that sells books alternatively you can find also known as a fucking bookstore shop that sells books <laughs> uh, pick them up in pretty much any shop that sells books shop pretty much any bookstore God damn it. Half price or borders? Sure. Those would both work. Any bookstore. Okay. That one is not as clean, but we can probably take out uh, this bit here and any bookstore. Okay, good. 
Good enough. And then there's a breath here. Any bookstore. Alternatively, you can find a lot. Because I've got more breath in my lungs when I say bookstore. Yeah. The codexes are sometimes old at half price, but like as far as the lore books go, they're fine. Any bookstore. Alternatively, you can find a lot of them online. And there's a lot of really good creators on YouTube here that actually do a lot of their own narrative work. God, I want to listen to this one uh, by uh, the War Wyvern. Or no, was it War Wyvern? Who did the... Uh, fuck. I think he did the uh, Tyranid story. Right? No, 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 no. This is, uh... Who am I thinking of that writes his own... Vox in the Void. Oh, Lullaby Smile would be a great one to recommend. Flesh Noose I really like. I really like Flesh Noose. That's a really good story. But we're listening to others. Plus Netflix knockoff. Okay. Wait, where the fuck are we? It's through Games Workshop's Black Library series. You can also probably pick them up in pretty much any bookstore. Alternatively, you can find a lot of them online, and there's a lot of really good creators on YouTube here that actually do a lot of their own narrative work. Vox in the Void does incredible work, as does the Astarte series. In fact, the Astarte series was so successful that Games Workshop went ahead and just hired them on to do their Warhammer Plus Netflix knockoff. The last sentence had a lot, a lot. It's a detective story that involves a missing person case that gets really out of control. If you want to learn more about what's happening in the Astra Militarum, that is the Imperial Guard, the people that the veterans are like, I highly recommend not only the Cyphus Kane series, if you want something a little bit more jokey, or if you want something more serious, you could go with the Gaunt's Ghost series. You can get all of these books through Games Workshop's Black Library series. You can also probably pick them up in pretty much any bookstore. Alternatively, you can find a lot of them online, and there's a lot of really good creators on YouTube here that actually do a lot of their own narrative work. Vox in the Void does incredible work, as does the Astarte series. I don't in think fact, there's the a lot, a lot in there. The Astarte series was so successful that Games Workshop went ahead and just hired them on to do their Warhammer Plus Netflix knockoff. I'll probably put a thing that says don't buy it, because honestly, don't buy Warhammer Plus. It still doesn't work, right? I also recommend the Grimdark Narrator. He pretty much just reads from the Warhammer Wikipedia articles, but he gets the things right, and he can, you know, actually talk about the stuff fairly well. It's good for listening to while you're painting. His voice is a little weird. Um, I don't know what his accent is. Hello there, fellow corrupted nobility, and welcome to some more Warhammer 40k lore. Today we shall continue our adventures among the Chaos Knights of 40k. What is that accent? By taking the series into a slightly different direction from now on. As we already described what Chaos Knights are, how they get corrupted, as well as the major classes- Almost finish? Yeah. Like, that's, that's probably, like, the, the accent that he's got is probably the only downside, but... Could be, uh, Polish. Too ...while you're painting. I'd also like to... Mouth sound. Let's get rid of that. Uh, it, it's fine. Some people will see it as grading.
Um, I'd also like to recommend Wyvern Audio on YouTube. He reads mostly the official books and has an amazing voice that's perfect for just getting into the lore. Okay. There's also plenty of good channels on YouTube that do battle reports. A battle report is basically just people playing Warhammer and then talking out the rules, their decisions, and that sort of thing. Lumpy, thank you for the raid, my dude. It's very kind of you. Thing. Tabletop Tactics is one of the original ones that are still doing it, that film uh, different games that they play against each other, and they have really good production value. Hey, raid's a raid, my dude. They are not to be confused with Tabletop Titans, a different YouTube channel that does live streams of them playing 40k live, where you can sort of have a conversation with them while they're playing. We're going to steal some uh, visuals from both of those. Oh, okay, and that, that's, that's all the video that we've gotten so far. All right, I don't know if we've covered... <sighs> this is more just like resources on where to go. I don't know if I've really done... Is that what I'm trying to achieve with this video? I think so. Also, is Horse Heresy really considered a mainline game that can be talked about? I don't know. I feel like it's a good starting point in order to get you to places where lore is. So you can listen to it. Um... It's more like prep for actually getting into the lore instead of the lore. It's like, you want to know how to play. You want to know what's going on. Here's how you find that information, I guess. More so than actually, like, making that information myself. Because I wouldn't know where to stop. Uh, it's sort of like the table of contents. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Like, this is where you find that information. Okay, so let, let's do a little bit of an outro where I, I, you know, recognize that Sigmar exists and then I just ignored it entirely. Hopefully these resources, all linked down in the top uh, pinned comment as well as in the description, help you out on your journey into 40k on whether or not you even want to play this game if you want to be interested in it. I glossed over so much stuff. I didn't even talk about Sigmar. I didn't talk about the other gods. I didn't talk about orcs or any of the other Xeno stuff. But this is just meant to get you as a sort of table of contents about what Warhammer is. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sound okay for an outro? Live video editing, Pog. I could very easily fake myself painting some models. Um, I, I originally, I think I have it still. I think there's, I think I did a video where it was, uh, let's see. <laughs> this is uh here let's go ahead and export this and i'll show you that other video that i r recorded uh and it's it's way too long any classes you'd like to be the next class um uh, no i feel like they got the basics of humans i don't think they should introduce space marines I think that that would invalidate all the other choices because it's tougher than an Ogren, better shooting than a veteran and possibly has the psychic power of a um, psyker. So like why even play anything else? Um, so you want to play Warhammer. Where is it? Uh, oh, did. Oh, I must have. Okay.
I can't find it, but oh well. Dark Tide to Warhammer is this one. I was trying to find uh I when I exported it, it knocked it off the recently recorded thing. I saw it there. Did you? Uh it was like so you want to start. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, this is this is the video that I was trying to record that was explaining <laughs> uh, um, all the different factions in the game. And once I got to about 36 minutes, I realized that I had gone on too long and that this video was too intense. So uh, I figured maybe not. But uh, it, it covers everything Warhammer. Uh, excluding the horse heresy. It's just uh, a little bit too much. All right. So then let's go ahead and open, import, uh, dark tide to warhammer.wav. And then we just scoot this puppy on down here. All right. <laughs> So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover here, obviously. Okay, so what we can actually do is in order to kind of help with uh, the editing, we can get fairly recent stream. I think that this was Warhammer here. That one definitely was. That's the Warhammer logo. I don't know what horchata is, so I have a feeling that's going to be a uh, your your mom's a horchata or whatever. All right. So then, whenever I stream, including the stream you're watching right now, um, it actually separates out into three different vods or three different audio things, um. So we're going to actually get rid of this one because this one is a combination of both audio uh, files and oh, limes will be in the background of this one, I think. Or will she? No, she won't because this is when I was playing by myself. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking ogre. Okay. Gotta wait for this to load so that we can uh, grab the bits out of it. But in addition to that, what do we need? We need some Dark Tide B roll. Um, see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover here, obviously, but uh, this is a early, quick explanation of everything that's going on in Dark Tide and how it relates to the major games that exist. Okay. What do we want here? In the 31st millennium, Okay, uh, explaining 30K. The genetically created, he and his followers are the primary antagonist of- Okay, explaining Nurgle. One of the four K. One of the four chaos gods is known as Nurgle. He and his followers are the primary antagonist of Dark Tide, the war millennium where humanity is now worshiping the god king as a Dark Tide has done a really good job at converting okay. all the different. And then this is going to be uh, minis on the website. From the terrain, the left ones that you should be aware of is to try and bring down the Emperor. The Horus Heresy, which takes place, obviously. Okay. And then, uh, boxed games. The Horus Heresy, which takes place, you can be, already exist as models in the games. Speaking of the games, there's four. 
Uh, Dapper Nachos, thank you for the uh, 11 months of support. You are fucking cool as shit. Speaking of the games, there's... We should probably save this. Okay. Dark Tide to uh, 40k pipeline. Speaking of the games, there's four major ones that you should be aware of. The Horus Heresy, which takes place, obviously, in the 31st millennium as the Traitor Legions fight against the Loyalist forces to try and bring down the Emperor. Okay. Basic... Let's just skip forward All some. resources and drugs. Lastly... That's Necromunda. In order to get started with any of these games, you'll need to pick up the core rule book. Okay. Uh, show the store prices. For whichever faction you happen to be playing, as well as all of the miniatures for that faction, you need to know how to play this game. If you're illegally uploads, you can go to Wahapit and then Wahapit, Wahapedia, Wahapedia, which is a free website that illegally uploads all of the information you need to know how to play this game. If you're interested in starting any of these games, the place to go would probably be your local Games Workshop store if you have one. They generally are available to play a test game so you can kind of just see how it plays. <gasps> Alternatively... I don't know. Uh, I did want to do YouTube, but I know you want to check out Warhammer. Um, I played a lot of Dark Tide. If you want to do that, we could. Uh, or we could do YouTube up to you. It's your channel tonight. I prefer 40K to fantasy. Um, just got into 40k through Dawn of War, and uh, I've been here since. Uh, why did I get pinged? It's an announcement. Uh, Dawn of War 1 was pretty good. Interested in starting any of these games, the place to go would probably be your local games workshops. Get Tabletop Sim on Steam. Alternatively. Okay, and then Table Top Sim B roll. Alternatively, 20 bucks. It's a fairly heavy program and for the small ass game. If you're interested in playing as the veteran, I would suggest Astra Militara. Uh, if you're interested of playing as the zealot, then I would recommend Sisters of Battle. Okay. Sisters of Battle. Bad guys, you can either go with generic Chaos Space Marines. Uh, CSM, Nurgle, and Death Guard. I play as generic CSM, just before anyone gets on my dick about this. A faction of Chaos Space lore and books that you could go and read. I highly recommend... Uh, lore books. I highly recommend the Eisenhorn series. What is the first one in the Eisenhorn series? Uh, Eisenhorn series. There was supposed to be a Netflix series or something, but it got uh, taken down. Was it Xenos? I think it was Xenos. Okay. Um, okay, let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's start getting the stuff together for this. But I'm just saying to do it. Okay. So let's... Uh, okay. All right, all right. Uh, Dark Tide to 40K pipe line images. Okay. Uh, Eisenhorn. Okay. Um, I'll have to play Warhammer tomorrow so we can get some B roll of me playing Warhammer. Yes, of course. This is for content reasons. All right. Where's my audio? Which one of these is it? Oh, that one's Potionomic. Okay. There it is. 
All right, so then uh, group, remove from, and delete. And then this all comes together. Cool, great. Um, Needed like a good segment where we're like I want some action Right here is good All right Just like plonk this in at the beginning here We'll fix the audio levels so that way they're better. So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover oh, here. Oh, that's actually a really boring segment. But, uh, this is a early, quick explanation of everything that's going on Primarch set and some antagonist of Dark Tide. The war against humanity as a whole, humanity as a whole has continued since Dark Tide. The war against humanity. Maybe this would be better. A horde rush would be good footage. I think so. Yeah, that's what this. I thought that's what that howl was. So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover here, obviously, but uh, this is a early, quick explanation of everything that's going on in Dark Tide and how it relates to the major games that exist. Okay. I think that's some fine B-roll for, for that purpose. Uh, all right. So then explaining... And then we can actually like balance the audio so it doesn't suck. Uh, we can worry about that some more here in a minute. Uh, at the end of the mission there, there is a bit where, right. I don't know as if we survived that long. Did we? Oh wait, hold up. Maybe this is good here. It's like, I need a fairly long segment. It's gotta be this long. All right, let, let's put this to the side for a second and then we can try somewhere like... I mean, fighting a beast of Nurgle ends up being bad and then that's where I fell through the world. All right. Let's uh let's try this. So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just <laughs> Okay, see what it... maybe not a bit where I freak out and attack my own friend. Uh there's a lot more to uncover here, obviously, but uh this is a early quick explanation of Okay, H how about we start there so I don't look like a total tool? So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover here, obviously, but uh, this is a early, quick explanation of everything that's going on in Dark Tide and how it relates. The war against humanity as a whole has continued since the 31st millennium on to present day, the Dark Tide, and how it relates to the major games that exist. Okay, that's that's probably more exciting footage um, than what I had. And then this whole level needs to be pretty quiet. So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more Some shoot plus here, some melee. I would really but, like uh, more this melee is a than... Early, quick explanation of everything that's going on in Dark Tide and how it relates to the major games that exist. In the 31st millennium, on to present workshop's website to models in the game. Everything from the... Already exists as closest that you'll get to 
he legally uploads all of the information you need to know how to play this spell. But Chaos Space Marines, if you want a different book that has a Oh, that's pretty good right here. Where did this start? What, what, how does it go from like... Yeah, I'm gonna overlay some images that I'm talking about. I just need to get all the, the B-roll out of the way. Um, I think this might be better. So you've been playing some Dark Tide and you think, hey, I'd like to get into some Warhammer, maybe just the lore, maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things as briefly as possible. There's a lot more to uncover here, obviously, but uh, this is a early, quick explanation of everything that's going on in Dark Tide and how it relates to the major games that exist. Yeah, I think I like that a lot more. That That's some better B-roll, in my opinion. Okay. Okay, so maybe the games, maybe just see what it's all about. This video is meant to help explain all of those things. As In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by chaos gods. Okay, cool. Uh, the Horus Heresy. Uh... Let's see. This looks like there's some good art for that. Also, I love the Galvorback models. They're so good. Uh, but I don't have that kind of money. Um, this is uh, Warhammer 30k. The Horse Heresy. Uh, there's that. Um, got some more minis. Um, Sanguinius about to get his shit wrecked. Hmm. Wallpaper, sure. Got the Emperor with some custodes. Uh, we got Abaddon. This might be a good representative of, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. How about this? This is a pretty good image. You got um, Abaddon, Little Horus, as he's called, and the Black Legion fighting Ultramarines, looks like. Oh, you're you're a, a web... Okay, why why can't I save you? All rights reserved. You, you, didn't, you didn't make this. Download original. Sure. Don't forget to credit. It's GW. All of this art is GW, and GW doesn't credit their artists, so I can't credit their artists properly. Uh, yeah, that's that's 40k armor, but uh, it shows like uh, power armor guys fighting other power armor guys. So I figure that's good. It's kind of the, the, the vibe I'm going for, even if it's like not 100% correct. Um, and we can do a bit of a, a scroll thing. So we zoom in quite a bit on it. Um, and we just do like a bit of a sweep from left to right.
And we end here. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, I think the, the left side one needs to be fixed a bit because it's a little bit off the page. Okay, let's see what that looks like. In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by Chaos Gods. One of the four... Okay. I think that's good. Um, I think we could even maybe make it a little bit bigger so you could see more of the art. Yeah. The scroll will be slower the bigger we make it. Um, and... I would like to get it, okay. We really need to be able to focus on all the stuff. It'd be weird to go diagonal, right? Yeah, it would. I wanna be able to get the top of Abaddon there, this big guy with the claw. Um, Some people zoom out from the central subject to the whole screen. We could try that. We could try that. Let's let's see what that looks like. Let's let's zoom in on uh Abaddon here and then uh final frame is just restore. And we can even do it backwards if that looks better. In the 31st millennium, half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super I mean, that's not a Primarch, but whatever. Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by Chaos Gods. One of the four Chaos Gods... Is do we want it to kind of like hover on this spot for a second? Because someone was saying that they didn't like the, the, the last keyframe. In the 31st millennium... Half of the Primarchs, that is the genetically created super soldiers of the Emperor, decided to turn traitor against him. They all had very good reasons, and some of them were just corrupted by Chaos Gods. One of the four... Zooms out maybe too fast. Um, Alright, and then... Nurgle. Again, I don't think I could find a specific image of Nurgle. Because I don't know if they've ever shown him. They've only ever shown, like, greater demons. There's that one image... Uh... Of him. Maybe not let it zoom out all the way. Okay. So we could stop it like here. Just to anyone who's watching this, I'm very aware that Abaddon is not a Primarch. But let's be clear as well. Uh, he would absolutely body Gilliman on the tabletop. Okay, can we find a good image of Nurgle? Not really. Can find plenty of pictures of great unclean ones. And that might have to do. We've got some ancient fucking art of him. Uh... Sorry, I should probably bring the images that I'm looking at onto screen. <sighs> What's this one? I mean, that one's pretty good. 
All knows if that's supposed to represent Nurgle proper or not. You definitely get the vibe. Uh, I think this one is actually supposed to be. No, that's got to be a great unclean one. But it's such old art that it's like, ugh. I don't like the great clean one. It looks wrong. Man, it looks so wrong. <sighs> I love that websites pretend like they can sell shit that they don't own. Um, What's the best way of getting this image from you? Buys a fine art print from us. You don't own this. You don't own this. Oh, no, this is WarhammerArt.com. Maybe you actually do own this. Are you an official website? Okay, it is an actual official website. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Should have known by the price. There's really not any good images here. I mean, that's pretty good. That gets you the vibe. Why is there a waifu here? Is that a Nurgle waifu? Come on. Okay, fine. All right, so we'll use this. It's a web. Of course it is. Um, open image in new tab. Save image as. There you go. Thank you, Bell Lost Souls. Please consider writing articles. All right. Um, put in the Nurgle wife. I don't think I will. No. Uh, thank you for the 29 months of support, Orange Juice Nut. It's very cool of you. Yider, thank you uh, for dropping by. How you doing, my dude? We're just, uh, we're doing kind of an off-color weird video uh, today. We're just kind of doing stuff. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, no, actually, I want these two images. Thank you. One of the four Chaos Gods is known as Nurgle. He and his followers are the primary antagonist of Darktide. The war against humanity as a whole has continued since the 31st millennium on to present day, the 41st millennium, where humanity is now worshipping the God King as a god and is trying to repel the forces of Chaos and all the aliens in existence. Darktide has... Okay, so I should probably have a different image for that. Where humanity is now worshipping the God King as a God. And then I think we do a similar thing where we have it zoomed in on his face. And... Does Warhammer have characters people draw like they would be plattered on the Sistine Chapel? Like 60% of all Hunter x Hunter characters? Um... No, the Primarchs to some degree, but mostly it's waifus, man. One of the four Chaos Gods is known as Nurgle. He and his followers are the primary antagonist of Darktide. The war against humanity as a whole has continued since the 31st millennium on to present day, the 41st millennium, where humanity is now worshipping the God King as a god, and is trying to repel the forces of chaos and all the aliens in existence. Darktide has done- There's, there's a lot of, uh, 
there's a lot of waifu content for Warhammer for some reason. Um, <sighs> Hold up. New private window. Tira Nid Waifu. Okay, let me find one that's safe for work. Gonna keep looking. There you go. That's one I can show on stream without it getting uh, demonetized because boobs. That's actually kind of cute. Well, there you go. One of the four chaos gods is known as Nurgle. He and his followers are the apparently that's just a beast of, of Nurgle, Tide. according the to war the war against humanity as Dark Tide. Okay, and then where was uh, Astral Militarum, Sisters of Battle, lore books? As far as lore and books that you could go and read, I highly recommend the Eisenhorn series. They take to what happens in Dark Tide. They take place around an Inquisitor who is trying to root out the forces of chaos in Hive cities, similar to what happens in Dark Tide. If you want a different book that has a similar, side, if you if you want a different book, okay. Oh, now I've reached the part of video editing where I'm just like, oh my god, I've actually spent two hours on this. Um. <sighs> Double says guitar submissive twinks. You know, like uh, you know what? Y'all know. Y'all know. Uh here's Skatari, okay? Your adeptus uh Mechanicus guys, they uh, have replaced as much of their flesh as they can with robot bits. They take orders from the Magos, um, and they 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 um, are like expert hunters. And uh, Tumblr, for some reason, thinks that they're um, twinks. I don't know why. Like in comparison to the size of like Space Marines, they look like twinks, but. I don't really know if that's like accurate. Search Skatari Waifu. Okay. There's a lot of weird shit. Why do people have to be like this? I don't know, dude. Why a moth girl? Because the person who made that image has a very specific kink, okay? Um. All right, well, I mean, we've recorded the audio. We have some B-roll in place. Um, Mini is on the website, show store prices, tabletop sim b -roll. If you want a different book that has a similar sort of really out of control. If you want to learn more about what's happening in the Astro Militarum, online and there's a lot of really good creators on youtube you know, on youtube that do battle reports that, that film okay so we're gonna have to go and film some battle report stuff off of other people uh <sighs> okay uh i feel like doing something else now so maybe we do some uh Potion, uh, potionomics. 
or uh, some uh, Peglin. We could do Peglin. It got an update that includes stores and stuff, which might fix one of the issues that I had. Um, I'm going to go piss. Uh, let's do a poll while I do that. Um, Peglin actually might be good uh, now. Peglin, uh, Potionomics, uh, Dark Tide. I'll finish this video by myself some. All right, there's a poll. Uh, vote on what you want me to do. I'll be right back. Give me a minute.